Because I'm going to call our February 6th day a rain or shine. I'm going to call that. We're going forward with that joker. Heck or high water. Yeah, we got uh, one big issue still to resolve is how do we do a show? Yeah, we're working on that um, for the city, and, and then I'm working on that with a, in the private sector too. So we'll we'll be able to. If you guys can have a trailer to haul just the boats, we'll we'll haul the people. Oh, I got a trailer. Yeah, and as far as the shuttle, it is doable. Outfitters are doing it, and if you could get, for example, school bus seat people every other row, only like you know one person on each side with the windows open, it should work. Beautiful. So what we're talking about is paddling from Troopville Boat Ramp to Spook Bridge like we did a year ago on the Mayor's Paddle. About 11 miles? That's about that. It's, it's a nice little paddle. It's, uh, you know, anybody can do it. There's one rapid just before you get to US 84. Fun. Yeah, fun. Yeah. We had some pretty decent swift water that day and it was just fun. Yeah, the one thing we're going to have to, other thing we have to depend on is the water level, but in February we really shouldn't have much problem. Good. Now, you also offer a takeout at a halfway point, and again, that offers logistic problems for us as well with the, with the transportation, but for anybody that says 11 miles is too much, it was about the five mile mark or six mile mark that I think. Right. I think the only people who really bailed out uh, were the reporters because they had to get back to their place to report. <laughs> they didn't get the story together. Right, and we must thank the Langdale Company for providing access both at the Midway Point and at Spook Bridge. Spook Bridge, in case you're not familiar with it from the recent, uh, I'll call it a documentary, documentary horror movie, is uh, a bit south of US 84, and you can only get there through private land owned by the Langdale Company. Yep, and, and it's not an easy takeout um, on an average day, but they, they fought it through and, and have ropes and pulleys and everything else to get us all out at that point. So we, yep. it, it will be very enjoyable. It, we'll start early in the, what's the fee? It's going to be 10 bucks. Right, it, it's the usual 10 bucks outing fee. Members of Walls get in free, and of course you can donate if you like as well. I'd love, I'd love to see 100 people join us on that. On the, what a prob good problem to have. Right, good plan. <laughs> good problem to have. I like it. Um, again, people, February 6th on that Saturday, uh, just an enjoyable and scenic. And, and uh, for a lot of you, if you haven't done that route, it's a whole bunch of I did not know that. And if you're going down there to see some of the cypress stumps, to see some of the just scenic beauty along that, along that the Wicklacoochee River, it's just breathtaking. A couple of nice creeks, some of them clean. <laughs>